Yo, welcome, 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 Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, read to you the book Infinite Jest, originally published 1996 by David Foster Wallace. Um, um yeah, I'm well, reading it one yeah. page at a time, one, at a time, one day at a time, put it on the YouTube for all YouTube. to enjoy. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna love it. We are on to page 81. That's a good page. Oh, this, uh, that's this a good book. It's a, it's a and, book. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah let's go. <clears throat> Willikers. Where is their straight shortest then? Yes. Where is the efficiently, quickly straight of Euclid then? Yes. And how many two places are there without there is something in the way between them if you go? It can be entertaining to watch the evening pines, mosquitoes light, and fade deeply on luminous shit. It was obvious. The smoke doesn't keep them away. When I am boyish, trying to compete for best, our training facilities on a sign, very largely painted, stated, We are what we walk between. Gosh. It's a tradition, one stemming maybe from Wimbledon's All England Locker Room's Timpana, Uh, the tympanic membrane, da, 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 a ah, semicircular or triangular decorative wall surface over an entrance. Okay, yeah, one of those things. Okay, so uh, locker rooms tympana. <clears throat> that every big time tennis academy has its own special traditional motto on the wall of its locker rooms. Some special aphoristic nugget that's supposed to describe and inform what the academy's philosophy is all about. After Mario's father, Dr. Incondenza, passed away, the new headmaster, Dr. Charles Tavis, a Canadian citizen, either Mrs. Incondenza's half-brother or adopted brother, depending on the version, C.T. had taken down the Incondenza founding motto, Te Ocidere Passant Sed Te Adere Non Passant Nefas Est. Footnote 32 And had replaced it with his rather more upbeat, The Man Who Knows His Limitations has none. Mario is an enormous fan of Gerhard Schitt, whom most of the other ETA kids regard as probably bats, and as without doubt mind-loosening-loosening-ly discursive, and show the old pundit even token respect mostly because Schitt can still personally oversees the daily drill assignments and can, if aggrieved, have Thode and Delint make them extremely uncomfortable, more or less at will out there in AM practice. One of the reasons the late James Incandenza had been so terribly high on bringing shit to ETA was that shit, like the founder, founder himself, who'd come back to tennis and later film from a background in hardcore math-based optical science, was that shit approached competitive tennis more like pure ma a pure mathematician than a technician. Most junior tennis coaches are basically technicians, Hands-on, practical, straight-ahead, problem-solving, statistical data wonks, with maybe added knacks for short-haul psychology and motivational speaking. The point about not crunching serious stats is that shit had clued Incandenza in, all the way back at a BS 1989 footnote 33 USTA tennis conven er, convention on photoelectric line judging, so that he, shit, knew real tennis was really not about the... Not about the blend of statistical order and expansive potential that the game's technicians revered, but in fact the opposite. Not order, limit. The places where things broke down, fragmented into beauty. The real tennis was no more reducible to delimited factors or probability curves than chess or boxing, the two games of which it's a hybrid. In... And that's the sound of the page being turned, and we'll find out in page 82 what happened. But this is page 81 of Infinite Jest, here on Infinite Jeff. Good night.